Hi, my name is Judge Tamika Lane, and I am a candidate for Superior Court. I'm currently a judge on the Court of Common Pleas in Philadelphia. The Superior Court is often the final stop for most people in Pennsylvania because their cases simply will not be heard by the Supreme Court. As such, we need an experienced judge on the bench who has presided and tried over thousands of cases because the Superior Court is an error-correcting court that deals with anything involving families, juveniles, criminal laws, civil laws, as well as wills and estates. I am the most experienced person running for this position. I am the only judge that is highly recommended for the Superior Court because I have presided over thousands of cases, just like the very ones that go to the Superior Court. And again, the Superior Court deals with things that involve people and corporations. You need someone who has a common sense approach. And I believe that everyone should be treated fairly with dignity and respect, regardless of where you live, what language you speak, if you have an accent, what religion you practice or whom you love. It doesn't matter. We all deserve those same basic rights. And that's how I run my courtroom. And I will bring the very same philosophy and my principles and values to the Superior Court. And I grew up in this part of Philadelphia called The Bottom. It was on the other side of the tracks. My grandmother worked in the cafeteria. My mother's a retired police detective. And my dad was in the Marines and he owned a bar. I understand what it's like to have to work hard for everything you ever wanted in life. And I've also seen when I was a trial attorney how people were treated differently based on what they look like and where they lived. And I vow to never do that. And that's why in my courtroom, I make sure that everyone is treated fairly and with respect. When I was a public defender, I could never forget some of the things that I saw in court. And one example just stands out. It was this woman who was on probation. She was doing everything she was supposed to do, nonviolent offender, first time. And she had to come to court and pay $50. She came with her baby in Pampers. She said, I don't have $50. She's like, I had to borrow, you know, car fare to even get here. So I'm tapping on my pockets and I'm like, well, I got $10. You know, I'm a broke public defender, but let's try to present that to the judge. So we go before the judge and the judge says, absolutely not. That's disrespectful that you don't have $50. It's only $50. And I'm like, $50 is a lot of money to a whole lot of people. And the judge said, it's only $50, lock her up. So the judge had her taken into custody and said, call Child Protective Services to take her baby. And I'm like, judge, no, you know, hold up. Let me try to find, you know, someone in the family who can get the baby. So the judge said, okay, but you're in charge of my docket. You're the public defender in my room and I'm not taking a break. And I said, no problem. So I put the baby on my hip and I continued to try my next case until the young lady's father came and got the baby. And that's why it's so important that we have judges who understand that $50 is a whole lot of money to a whole lot of people. And that lady that I just talked about, her appeal will go to the Superior Court. That's why it's vital that we have experienced judges on this bench who get it. And I want to tell you this, that when you look at the 31 judges statewide on our appellate courts, only two are of color and they are recent additions. Judge Carolyn Nickel in 2017 and Judge, Dory, Judge Lori Dumas in 2021. It is so important that we have a voice on this court, especially if this is the last resort for most people in Pennsylvania. It is important that people are from our community who understand us, who look like us, and represent our democratic values. So please make sure you tell everyone to vote because courts matter, judges matter. We can't sit around and complain if we're not gonna vote and make a difference. And I need each and every one of you to go and tell your family members, people, strangers on the street, in the gas station, at the supermarket, tell whoever to please vote because this race is so important. Thank you.